I never dreamed in a million years that sport would be my ultimate career and, and be, as to coin a phrase, I guess, uh, the making of me. I uh, <laughs> would never have believed that. Because as a young man, I think I, I, I wanted to be an electrician, bizarrely. Uh, that was what I wanted to do. So uh, sport was a, hey, magic, added bonus. Dancing definitely has uh, helped me with my confidence because as a child, I was sort of, I felt like there was a, a lot of problems in my life I have created myself for some reason. I felt that I was guilty of it in some sort of funny way, that maybe my parents don't love me enough, that's why they're fighting all the time. And um, I, I just felt like that I'm doing something wrong all the time. And the only place I felt happy it was my dance school. And when I danced, I felt I can be myself and I wasn't judged by anyone. I was just sort of doing my thing and enjoying my dancing. And my dance teacher were always very positive toward me. So I think that's why it helped me to actually, to be who I am now. A lot of times when you're successful at what you do, uh, people kind of look at you as maybe you have special powers or you're a chosen one or you're lucky or, you know, and sometimes uh, people don't think they could do the same thing you did. You know, and that's where you come in as a role model and let people know that, you know, you could do anything you put your mind to it. You know, you're just as talented as I am. Uh, I'm just as talented as you. Um, you know, um, I was, I didn't always have everything. Uh, all I did was work hard and really believed in myself. When my son was born, I felt I just want to make this little boy proud, you know. I want, to, I want him to be proud of me and I want, I want to, I've, I just thought I had a good talent here and I didn't want to waste it. And uh, with me, I, I've been on trouble off the pitch loads of times and it was getting boring, you know, I could see myself in the paper do it for the wrong things. I wanted people to talk good about me, not look at me and frown upon me and think, oh, he's a waste of space. And that affected me and I just thought, if I could just keep my, my head down and just keep on working to what I want to get to, something, let me see the reaction that I get from people. And then I started to get a posit positive reaction and uh, I liked the feeling. You know, now I've realised that football is you know, so, so important to a lot of people. Um, you know, everyone watches football, you know, kids, you know, elderly people, you know, and it's, it's great. And, and uh, I think the thing that makes me keep my feet um, firmly on the ground is, you know, when you see you know, kids, like, sort of like, when I just walk around on the street and I see kids wearing my shirt and things like that, or I bump into people, and, you know, you make them so happy. And for me, I have to pinch myself because I remember when I was young, you know, growing up watching World Cups and and watching players on the TV and you know getting excited when you sort of like you have a presentation night and a, and a player makes an appearance. Stay here lads and don't break anything. Hey, you know I can sleep in these chairs, innit? Alright man, these chairs are doing it man. Oh, I could get used to this lads. Imagine winning the league at White Hart Lane. Hey guys, it's my time. I'm going on. What? I think I'm going on before you, mate. Shut up, man. You two are both mess. What? Bruv, I'm blatantly the best player here. Sure about that, bro. <laughs> Shit. Are you who I think you are? I don't know. Who do you think I am? You're Jermaine Defoe, innit? <laughs> Craig, how you, how you doing, bro? Right, you okay, so, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Too bad. Thanks for the advice, man. It's brilliant. Oh, uh, and you like that, yeah? Yeah, I told, um, told Harry and Mr. Capello they loved it. It was great. Nice, nice. So these your boys? It's your team? Kind of. I don't know yet. Seriously, you got to listen to him. This guy's a genius. He knows his stuff. Come and go, man. Nice one. See you soon. Good luck, boys. Cheers, mate. Cheers, man. Brilliant. <laughs> My main motivating factor as a, as a young lad from the age of probably about four, I would say up till still now, is exercise and sport, being involved with in team games. I played a lot of rugby. I started playing rugby when I was four. Um, so the team, team bonding was really important. That's something that I love now. I miss it immensely, actually. I miss playing rugby and I miss playing football as much because there's nothing like that camaraderie you get. Um, but I found other ways of doing things now. So running, I get sort of, my, my working life is pretty hectic. I have very early mornings. Sometimes I can work quite late. I could only cope if I keep myself fit. I need less sleep, I stay healthier. I think I'm happier at home, happier around the children. Um, but all of the sport was, was a seriously motivating factor and being involved in sport as well. I wasn't ever that fussed about watching sports. Like, I would love West Ham, I love going up and seeing there, but if it was a choice between watching a game of football, watching a premiership game of football, or going and playing a game of football down in the park, I'd choose to go and play every time. <laughs>